this field is on gate. They're off and pacing the Lubavik Memorial Middle Racetrack. Falcons icon rushes out for the lead along the inside. We've got the old buzzard and Jimmy Morrill Jr. trying to hold them out. As they head around the turn, go down the back stretch. Falcons icon, who is the prohibitive one to five favorite. He's made the top easily for Georgie Brennan. Leads it by a full length. The old buzzard, Jimmy Morrill Jr. Hold on in second. Card Shuttle and Wally Hennessy right there third. It's Paul Hennon and Ronnie Pierce. Trail is in the field. Classic, followed by... Magic, Passport, and Soul of the Matter, but not today. 29 seconds flat for the opening quarter. The Icon opens it up quickly now by three. He's at the top of the stretch, and he's looking for his ninth straight victory. Falcons Icon is on a mission for Brennan today. He maintains a four-length lead. Trying to hold on in second position is the old buzzard for Jimmy Morrill. Right there in third, Card Shuttle and Wally Hennessy. Two lengths further back to Paul Hennon. Uh, the trailers in the field are classic, magic passport, and soul of the matter. 58 and 4 for the half mile. They whiz down the back stretch the final time. 3 eighths of a mile of pace. Falcons icon. He's in command by three. Uh, the old buzzard is trying to get closer to him as they head for the three quarter pole at Friol. It's Falcons icon in front. The old buzzard getting closer. A length and a half back to Card Shuttle and Wally Hennessy. They are by three quarters at Friol in 127 and 2. Brandon pulls out all the stops. He's got Falcons icon. Icon on the lead now by three. Old Buzzard trying to hold on second. Card Shuttle third. They've left the rest of the field. They're at the top of the stretch. They've got an eighth of a mile of pace. Falcons Icon. He's going to be nine for nine. Georgie Brennan is going to keep him undefeated. It's the Old Buzzard second, followed by Card Shuttle one, 55 and two. Working his way back to the winner's circle. And he knows it well already, even though he's only a two-year-old. He has never lost a race. Number five, Falcons Icon. A two-year-old, Baykol, by Falcon Seal Stir from Avon Sunbeam by Sundance Skipper. Owned by Joe Alflin of Redondo Beach, California. Trained by Kelvin Harrison. And the winning driver, he scores his 30th victory at Friol Race with a season. He's been in the sulky for all nine Falcon Icon victories. He'll probably stay there forever. The battler, Georgie Brennan. Great job done training by Kelvin Harrison. This two-year-old was purchased a couple of months ago for $300,000 from Milton and Martha Frank of Fairlawn, New Jersey. Joe Alflin of Redondo Beach paid $300,000 for Falcon's Icon. He's got a bargain. The result of the 11th race at Freehold is official. The 5 won exact, the returns $7.20. In the winner's circle, the great Falcons icon, the 1998 winner of the Lou Babic Memorial Pace, members of the Lou Babic family. They're here to honor the memory of their father, one of the founding fathers of the New Jersey Sire Stakes program, one of the richest Sire Stakes racing programs in the country. The result of the 11th race at Friol is official. Post time for the 12th and final race this afternoon on the board in 14 minutes. We have a driver change in the 12th race. The 5, Unico Salambre, will be driven by Marquez Model. 12th race, the 5, Unico Salambre, Marquez Model drives. We want to thank all the members of the Lubavik family being here this afternoon, and we'll look forward to seeing you again for the 17th edition of the Lubavik Memorial here at Friol next season. Racing fans for winning driver George Bennon, this is a career year for him. He is the fourth leading money winning driver in North America with earnings of more than five point three million dollars thus far. Ali Sarama has the battle of Brennan in the winner's circle counting the money. 
All right, congratulations in order to everyone involved with Falcon's Icon and George Brennan especially because last week when I talked to you about this cult, George, I said, well, a little bit disappointing effort and you were adamant when you made the comment, he won, didn't he? Yeah, he won and, you know, he was good last week. You know, certainly not as sharp as he was today, but, you know, like you said, he was off a couple weeks too and, uh, you know, today, you, you know, uh, you know, it was unfortunate Dirk Diggler died, so, you know, that really uh, limited the competition. And, uh, you know, my condolences to go out there to the entire Steve Smith, Sandy Goldfar, that whole outfit there. You know, it's a terrible thing to happen. But, uh, you know, we got fortunate in that respect, and, uh, you know, we just cut easy fractions, and uh, you finished real strong. What was going through your mind when you did get the lead at the eighth pole, and then the rest of the race actually was history you were in full control well the thing is you know he, he's a bit high strong so you know, I was just you know trying not to let him get away from him because you know, he can't do that he's got high speed and you know he did that to me last week you know I went like 28 and 1 down the back and moved him early and he got away from me a little bit so of course with that kind of speed you don't want him to get away from you and uh, burn him out too early he showed uh, plenty of quick pace coming home yeah yeah he was he was ton he was ton had a ton left and I uh, never pulled the plugs and uh, he felt real good you know red did a real good job you know prepping him for this race and uh, that's the man who you to talk to. Okay George congratulations and this is the man I'm going to talk to Calvin Harrison he's the man behind Falcons icon. Calvin I spoke with you on August 13th when this Colt won a New Jersey Cyrus Stakes and really had no idea at that point that he was a private purchase. You told me a great story let's tell the public about the story. How did you acquire this Colt? Well, really, I see the Colt on, uh, ra uh, racing on TV, and I uh, talked to George the next morning, and I uh, went over and seen Joe Holloway, and I said we ended up buying him. But uh, basically, I uh, just loved the way he raced. And he has just certainly lived up to your expectations. Um, last week, any concerns with his performance? Well, you're always concerned with a horse like this because, you know, you expect a lot of him, and when he's not quite up to par, you, you are a little worried, but he bounced right back. Were you confident going into the race? Well, you're always confident, but you're nervous, you know. You're a little nervous. Now, you did tell me that this was a very quick colt. What's next for him? Well, we may go to Lexington. I'm not sure yet. We'll either go to Lexington or we'll come back here for the Sire Stakes. I'm not sure. But we got the Breeders' Crown, the Governor's Cup, so... Well, Calvin, congratulations. You've done a wonderful job with Falcon's Icon. Let me talk to your main man here, the owner. Excuse me one second. Mr. Joseph Alflin, congratulations. Thank you. Now, Kelvin told me the story about this purchase on this Colt. How were you when he called you from uh, New Jersey and called you in California and said, geez, I found your Colt on TV? Oh, I just uh, just go for it because, you know, we uh, we did a lot of homework before this. And Kelvin's the final uh, Kelvin's the final one. He has to look at the confirmation and he has to get on and drive him. And, and he gives us the final okay. But we, uh, uh, John Curtin is the one that uh, found him through the Internet in New Zealand. And... Uh, he called me. We had like two or three horses. We settled on two of them. We couldn't buy the other one. Bought this one. Uh, called Kelvin. Said, you know, I like the pedigree. I looked up the pedigree. Strong on, on the damn side. And I said, Kelvin, check her out. And check him out. You know. He come back and he said, this is after he did three or four before this. And he said, this one I like. That's well, you good. have to like Falcon's Icon 9 for 9. Congratulations winning the $200,000 Lou Babic Memorial Pace. Congratulations to George Brennan, trainer Calvin Harrison. Let's take a look at the prices.